Have you ever heard of a family with a sickle cell child? Or a patient? Ever wondered what they go through on a daily basis to have the patient survive? Well, in Uganda, there are about 5,000 sickle cell patients under the Sickle Cell Association of Uganda. This number is relatively less than those who don't register as well as those parents who hide the condition of the sick children. Families have broken, fathers denying their own, as well as the misconception that those with sickle cell are bewitched. So we visited many families of people affected by uh, sickle cell disease. We saw very many children suffering from sickle cell disease and there was one common factor. Uh, women, mothers of these children, are abandoned by their husbands. Because one, uh, you marry a woman, you want to have children with that woman, now the first child has sickle cell disease and somehow you're told that uh, you carry the gene, she carries the gene, so most likely you have chances of giving birth to more children with sickle cell disease. Alex Masiko, a renowned intercontinental kickboxing champion, is using his fame and talent to sensitize the public about sickle cell. Under Child Africa, an NGO that is championing the campaign, they believe society can change its perception about the sickle cell child. Being a kickboxing world champion, they, they looked at me as someone who can champion the campaign against sickle cell disease. I saw this as an opportunity to serve my country in the medical field. What they go through is, is terrible. That's why I also uh, got touched and uh, I saw it as a very good opportunity for me to sensitize people, to bring awareness in communities, to know about this sickle cell and uh, how we can prevent it or how we can manage it. How come her feet don't resemble mine at all? It is because she's a little girl and you are mine. But if she's my child, they should somehow resemble mine. What are you trying to say? A movie tagged Understanding Love is being produced to create awareness about the disease and production of the movie started before the lockdown. The movie was however halted due to the pandemic and fate would have it. Two of the actors have since died of COVID-19, making it complicated. I got to know a lot about it. And I was thinking to myself, to me, how would I do something and an awareness that would make people understand when I got to learn of how many children, 33,000 children, are born with sickle cell. And 80% of them die before the age of five. You can imagine how terrible that is. And uh, I think Marshall here actually helped me a lot also into the direction and how we could make this into a movie and, uh, and do something, do a huge impact, do an awareness that would help a lot of young people. I think uh, young people need to know that they can, you see, being aware of something, you, you manage, you are able to manage it. Child Africa has so far funded the first phase of the movie that requires more than a billion shillings in production and marketing. What we are thinking of doing is, is uh, obviously to screen the movie and uh, go, go to schools, go to communities, make a huge uh, awareness. And uh, obviously a, a movie like this that we have put in so much uh, time and the quality it has, we are of course hoping that it will not only be stay in Uganda but go beyond. Sickle cell anemia affects red blood cells, the cells that carry oxygen throughout the body. Many are carriers with invisible symptoms and carry sickle cell genes passed from generation to generation in a pattern of inheritance. <laughs>